Welcome to Close Up on America's Business, the program that takes you inside some of the most unique and successful companies in America. I'm Jim Masters. On each edition of our show, we introduce you to some of the most innovative business leaders in the country today. You'll discover what their products, services, technologies, and business models can do for you, what they're doing to change our world and change the way we do business. Strong families make for strong communities, and in a city as diverse as New York, both culturally and economically, the needs of those families are equally diverse. Making sure those needs are met is one of the best investments we can make. Today, we'd like to introduce you to an organization that's doing exactly that. Hi, I'm Janice Marie with Close Up on America's Business, and we're here today in New York City visiting the Puerto Rican Family Institute. This is an organization that focuses on strengthening Latino families and children and any family in need by providing a wide variety of services to help them grow and prosper and be productive members of society. This is an organization that's making a real difference and they've been doing it successfully since 1960. Let's take a look. New York City in the 60s, the Yanks win two World Series, Lincoln Center is built, and 20 social workers start the Puerto Rican Family Institute, a charity committed to keeping local families together. Today, the Institute is helping 25,000 families a year with everything from parental training to summer camps and Head Start programs for school kids. But there's still a lot more to be done, and you can help. The Puerto Rican Family Institute is a non-profit, multi-service organization with the mission of keeping families together, providing them the resources, the abilities, and the tools to become better parents for the sake of their children. The fact that our accomplishments rest on the fact that we frame and design our services from a culturally competency and language proficient model of services. And that makes us highly successful. Very proud to be a member of the Institute because I admire the work they do so much and I feel that that work is so important to our community. I like the fact that we don't only help Puerto Rican families, but we help uh, families of all ethnic groups. When I walk in through these doors, I, it's a different feeling for me because I know I'm going to get help and the way they speak to you and every time you know I mention something, it's always, don't worry, you're going to be okay. And honestly, I know I'm going to be okay. The Puerto Rican Family Institute has become a guidance to my family and I when we really need it because going in the cities is very difficult. The last five years, I've been attending the horse camp in Maine over the summer for two weeks, and I've become a role model to the young girls that also attend this camp. Many people think of Head Start as a daycare. We're not a daycare. We want to promote responsibility and independence on themselves rather than us do everything for them. I'm currently involved in a program it is an HIV and AIDS health education and awareness program. Right now, as many of us know, uh, HIV and AIDS is ravaging the world. It has been my pleasure supporting the Puerto Rican Family Institute, mainly because of the leadership. There's only a few places that we can turn where the agency is efficient enough to turn around and have children that can make use of it. And the absolute top of the list is the Puerto Rico Family Institute. We are a highly successful organization and our success rate in keeping families together is 98%. We save a lot of taxpayers' money that will go into costly out-of-home placement and hospitalizations making communities strong by making families strong. They've been doing it for over 50 years at the Puerto Rican Family Institute. 